What's up guys, Bran here from Bloody Breakdown, and what an episode of The Walking Dead last night. Uh, season 9, episode 5, we would see what was referred to as the final episode of Rick Grimes. So going in, especially after last episode, uh, season 4, the way it ended with uh, Rick falling on the rhubarb and, and, and how that went down, we, we kind of saw where this was going, I think, in a lot of ways. But at the same token... I think most of us knew that AMC and the writers were going to be throwing us some sort of a curveball, something very interesting. Especially that one line that Andrew Lincoln said at Comic-Con, I believe, where he said his relationship with Mr. Grimes was far from over. A lot of us took that into consideration. So, without saying too much about what went down, I'm not going to go into depth, you know, in-depth details of the episode... Uh, but I'm going to cover it, so there will be spoilers, but we're going to try to do this a little bit quicker because there's also some extra news at the end of this video that I'm sure a lot of you have heard about too that I, I wanted to talk about here on the channel. Uh, so basically the episode was very reminiscent of the first episode um, of The Walking Dead. And a lot of the earlier elements before Rick ever found the group and his, his family, um, we would see cameos from um, Shane. Uh, coming back, having a, a very different discussion now in that police car. Uh, this all going on inside Rick's head as he's losing blood and trying to escape these walkers. Uh, we would see Herschel. Um, we would see uh, the, the other female character, um, and her name eludes me at the moment. She was the character who uh, killed herself to kind of get the jump on Negan when he opened that casket. Um, but yeah, there were a lot of uh, cameos last night, a lot of uh, close calls, a lot of heart-wrenching moments, and uh, I, you know, I think that the way that they took Andrew Lincoln out, uh, which for those of us who know, like I said, I said earlier, spoilers ahead, so we're about to get into deep spoiler territory here. Um, so Rick tries to go across that uh, that rickety old bridge, uh, hoping that the zombie horde would fall and wash away. That way, they wouldn't be able to make it. Uh, up to, uh, it was either Alexandria or the Hilltop, I believe the Hilltop, uh, potentially. Uh, and when the weight of the walkers don't uh, crush the bridge, uh, Rick ends up shooting some dynamite on the bridge and blowing it up and uh, blowing himself up in, uh, in doing so. So it's kind of like a, you know, a self-sacrifice. Um, he actually, uh, you know, kind of what Rick always was about, you know, giving of himself to for the better of the group, at least for the most part. Um, so that happens, and you have this, you know, big emotional moment with, you know, Michonne and uh, and Daryl and and Maggie and 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 all these people kind of reacting to what they're seeing here. But we see at the end of the episode uh, that Jadis still uh, messing around with these helicopter people, who I guess most of us have theorized is the Commonwealth. Um, once again, just theorizing there, uh, she sees Rick washed up on the shore after the explosion and, uh, gets onto the, the radio with the helicopter people saying she has her B, um, and, and begs them to help not just her get away from that place, but to help Rick because he's been, uh, wounded pretty badly. And, uh, apparently that does happen because Rick wakes up on that helicopter. So, where they're saying this was the last episode of The Walking Dead that Rick Grimes, Andrew Lincoln, will be a part of that. They're saying that's it for the TV show. Um, a lot of us started thinking then and there, it, you know, is this the end? Or, you know, are we never going to revisit Rick Grimes, this helicopter, Jadis, any of this ever again? Well, that's probably not going to be the case either. Uh, because right after that episode, we found out on The Talking Dead that AMC is making not one, not two, but three feature uh, film-length movies that will be airing on AMC, actual Walking Dead movies on AMC that will be uh, featuring Rick Grimes, played by Andrew Lincoln. So I think we're pretty safe to assume at this point that Rick's story is going to continue in at least one of these three uh, films. May, I, I, I'm going to say made-for-TV films uh, that AMC is going to be putting out. Because as I understand it, they're going to air on AMC. If I'm wrong about that, guys, let me know down in the comment section. Um, but that is my understanding at this point. So, 
A lot of people are saying this is probably one of the best episodes they've seen in many seasons. A lot of people fell out with this show years ago. Quite frankly, I love the show, still love the show, have since day one, continue to do so. I'm really glad they didn't kill Rick off. I'll say that. Uh, I'm, I'm a fan of the character. I'm a fan of Lincoln's uh, portrayal of the character. And uh, I'm glad to see that w The Walking Dead is finally going to do something that I've wanted to see for a while. I, granted, I wanted to see them in theaters. And like I said, if I'm wrong about that, let me know, guys. Uh, but we're going to see some actual Walking Dead made-for-TV movies with, with Rick Grimes as the star. So I'm excited. I, I'm glad it pumped some lifeblood into the series last night. A lot of people are talking about it. A lot of people are interested in these three movies. A lot of people are talking about uh, how they were swerved. I, you know, people complain about that stuff a lot, but at the end of the day, a good swerve in a television show watched by a lot of people is fantastic. It can just sweep over a society, uh, and, and you'll be talking about it for years to come. So, yeah, I guess with that said, ladies and gentlemen, like, you know, I just really wanted to talk about that episode. I, I thought it was fantastic. I thought it was well done. Wanted to get out some information about that Walking Dead um, a trilogy, I guess, for lack of a better term. Uh, we don't know much about it right now, but what we do know is that uh, Andrew Lincoln will be a part of it, and it's going to be very interesting, in my opinion. So, uh, speaking of opinions, I want to know what your opinion is. So, guys, leave me a comment down below in the comment section, because that's where the comments do go. Uh, on what you thought about not only uh, episode 5, last night's episode of The Walking Dead, uh, but what do you think about this upcoming triad of films that AMC are going to be producing uh, about The Walking Dead? Uh, the, the franchise seems to be blowing the hell up, guys. It's getting bigger and, and, and badder and better than I ever honestly thought it would be. Was that a WrestleMania 3 reference? Anyway, guys... Uh, also, if you would, if you haven't already, leave a like if you've enjoyed this video, subscribe and ring that notification bell if you haven't already done so, that way you'll know anytime I go live or upload, hopefully, if Google lets you know. Um, and also guys, down below in the description section, you'll see links to all of my social media accounts, as well as my Patreon, where you can get all the perks that come with supporting this channel financially. So, until next time, guys, and by the way, I know I'm late on the Trick or Treat episode of Bloody Breakdown, still working on it. Uh, I've also got a ranked uh, franchise episode coming out later on this week as well, so I should be getting back on track with everything now that the Halloween celebrations are, are finally, uh, have come to a close and I'm getting back to normal life here. So, yeah, with that said, I'm Brand from Bloody Breakdown, and we'll catch you all next time.